In the video for today, I'm going to speak to you about how to stay logged into your WhatsApp account on the WhatsApp application for a Windows desktop while you are traveling when you do not have a network on your mobile phone for your SIM card. I have received a couple of emails and messages wherein some people are facing a difficulty with receiving a code to log into their WhatsApp accounts while they are traveling. When you try to log into the WhatsApp application on a Windows PC, at least, you would need to scan a QR code or link your account with your phone number. And if you do not access the WhatsApp application for some time on your PC, it may just ask you to re-log in or you know, use a code to log in or scan a QR code or whatever it is. It happens sometimes. If you're going to a different network coverage area or if you are uh, you know, working in the ships, you're going at sea, you know, you're using a very different kind of a Wi-Fi network, then the WhatsApp server may just detect something unusual and may just ask you to verify yourself. So I have come up with two realistic solutions or two very genuine tricks that you could utilize so that you have complete access to your WhatsApp account, whether you are on maybe Mount Everest or at sea or whatever it is. As long as you have network connection, like you're connected to a Wi-Fi or some network that gives you access to the internet. Okay, so the first method to get access to your account is to leave your SIM card at home. Very simple. I'm very much sure if you are not getting network at sea or you know a place where there is no network coverage for your phone network carrier, there is no use of carrying your SIM card. So say supposing you are from India, okay, you're traveling to uh, maybe Alaska. I don't think you're going to get uh, network out there. If you're working in the cruise and you have to go there for work for say six months or something, you're not going to get network coverage out there. So if you're trying to log into your WhatsApp account on your PC, you're not going to get that code to log in. So what is the use of carrying your SIM card? Just leave it at home. Just keep it on a basic Android device with your mom or your sister or your father or your brother or friend or whoever. And whenever you would want to log in, just do a video call using Zoom or whatever and ask them to give you the code via the call itself. So then what you are going to do is open WhatsApp on your Windows desktop like this and then uh, click on link with phone number. Then put in your phone number out here. And then when you get an OTP, it's going to go to that SIM card. Obviously, it's in India. If you leave your SIM card back home, ask them to give you the code and then you could easily log in. Now, let me explain to you the second trick, which is even more easier. In this trick, what you need to do is on the Zoom call, say supposing you're using a smartphone, obviously, you're doing a Zoom call or uh, you're using Botim to call your uh, sister or brother at home who has your SIM card on a different Android device. And, you know, they can easily download the WhatsApp application for you and then log into your WhatsApp account with your permission, of course. That's, you know, your family members, no problem. So what you could do is on the call itself, you could face the phone towards this QR code and ask them to scan it. You could do that. Because if you send a screenshot of this, that's also an option. You could send a screenshot of this via email or whatever. It may just time out by the time they scan it and all these things. You could try that, but if that doesn't work, on the Zoom call or on the video call itself, just face your phone towards the QR code and ask them to scan the QR code through the call itself, through the video call. So I hope these ideas work for you. I'm sure uh, if you're already at sea or if you're somewhere, you're not getting a network or something. Next time when you go home for a holiday, you could apply these ideas. And then when you get back to sea or get back to the location, wherever you are, you're not getting network. You could utilize these ideas. And I'm very much sure you are going to have complete access to your WhatsApp account on your Windows PC using the WhatsApp application. I hope you got some value from my video for today. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.